Uh, David Zeritsky for the Bond Experience, freezing my you-know-what's off out here, but I'm doing it for you. See, this is the Frugal Bond Part 2, and we're actually outside of Kohl's. We're going to fly ourselves in there. Now, Kohl's, for those overseas that may not have Kohl's, it's kind of like a J.C. Penney's, just not as nice. So, um, but who knows? I know they've got bargains in here. They've got very inexpensive clothes, dirt cheap clothes, and maybe we can put together a Bond outfit or two. You never know when you go into these things, but we're going to try our best, and if it's a match, great. If it's not, you can cross Kohl's off your list. There is no reason to visit it. Let's take a look, though. Okay, we're inside and we're going to start looking now. There's a pretty big uh, suit section at Kohl's, so immediately I spy this with my little eye. Thin lapel, you'll notice, um, kind of like a Tom Ford, that type of gray that he wears in the film in a lot of the different scenes. Um, they have all different types. They even have over here, I spotted. Prince of Wales check. I mean, it's really good. It's hard to see on the film, but it's a nice thin lapel. It's got the, uh, it's got a two-button design, not a three-button design, but it's very close. Armholes are very high, and even the sleeves are thin. This is by Mark Anthony. By the way, the price on this entire suit is 240 Not horrible. Um, not unbelievably frugal, but let's keep going. What's nice is they've got, you know, regular shirts, too, and again, these are slim fit shirts. They're not the big overwhelming one you can see lots of ties and of course they've got a plethora of belts but I'll tell you where we really start to see the frugal bond so remember last time at Old Navy we found a lot of different khakis well here we've got slim fit khakis everything from you know what you need uh, from Quantum of Solace um, when he's in the blue uh, Tom Ford shirt all the way through to when he goes visit Mathis and they've got a really good selection these for example are $28 and $28 so really nice selection over here um, plenty of jeans too and the jeans over here there's a lot of different style jeans um, this is not the type of jean you want a flat front uh, flannel pocket that's for sure Okay, we're getting close to the sweater section. Now, let's go over here. This is interesting. So from a frugal bond perspective, they've got a lot of different shirts. Um, they've got different Henleys, for example, like Skyfall Henley, which is a nice approximation right here. Um, feels like the All Saints, looks like the All Saints. Uh, $25. And then you also have polo shirts as well. It's nothing that looks as sunspell as, for example, the Old Navy one did, but let's keep going. Ah, here we go. This is great. This looks just like scotch and soda. It's a straight fit. It's by Chaps, so you know it's going to be inexpensive. And it is. It's 40 bucks. A lot less expensive than scotch and soda, that's for sure. Over here, you've got some short collar stuff. Uh, nothing that I've seen that looks like the Quantum of Solace, but we're going to keep looking. Oh, here we go. That's a nice approximation of the Sunspell. This is by Sonoma, and it's uh, $26. It's got kind of big armholes. Not not exactly very sleek, so you're going to get kind of an old man baggy style, to be honest with you. something really good. So this is 50% off Mark Anthony, so it's a slim fit. It's a wool uh, jumper just like the Bobby one. It's $55. Very economical. It's got the nice uh, crop bottom. It's got the turn back cuffs. This is a really good approximation of the Skyfall jumper when uh, he is in Shanghai. Um, so Mark Anthony seems like he makes a lot of this stuff. So it's uh, it's a good bet if you look for his stuff. It's going to be a more slimmer cut. Let's face it, Mark Anthony is trying to be hip. Um, what he's doing in Coles, I have no idea, but that doesn't matter.
Come on, let's keep going. Oh, here we go. Mark Anthony again. P code. I'm wondering if I'm sitting in the Mark Anthony area. Anyway, would not get this. Tons of zippers everywhere. I saw better ones up front. Yeah, not a bad approximation of the Armani if it was like half as short, but uh, not perfect. I guess if you squint really hard, this could be the Menlo jacket, but again, it's not something I would get as part of the budget one. Hmm. Decent peacoat though. It's got the right look and the double breasts, and it's uh, $42, so that's not bad with 60% off. Let's go down here. This is a more avant-garde mod area, so maybe we can find a uh, Enjoying Death shirt. desperate here. I mean, this is clearly not the place to find Frugal Bond. I'm looking at t-shirts to see if there's any Bond t-shirts, and I'm not seeing any. Coming up really short here, to be honest with you. Even in the Levi's section, I mean, yeah, you can get an approximation of the quantum jeans or something like that, but would you make a special trip for that? I don't think so. You shouldn't. This is a bust. I'm ready to tell you, don't come to Kohl's unless you're trying to pick up the uh, 007 uh, perfume, which by the way smells like Draco Noir, which by the way smells like hobo sweat. Let's go see though, maybe they have it. Okay, here we go. The 007 cologne. Mmm, eau de hobo. Yeah, so this would be the only reason why you would come to Kohl's. Okay, so I'm thinking that for the frugal bond, you're better off elsewhere. I think we came up kind of short. I mean, I was force fitting this place into it. So, frugal bond Kohl's, I would say, mmm, not a match. This has been David Zaritsky for the Bond Experience. We'll see you soon.